In this video, the teacher uses explicit systematic instruction during a mathematics lesson. During the first step of explicit systematic instruction, the teacher prepares the students for the lesson. Today during math class, we are going to use the tangent function to help us find the height of objects. And if you recall, this week we've been learning all about right triangles. Mateo, do you remember what angle makes right triangles so special? 90 degrees. That's right. They always contain a 90 degree angle. And when we have a right triangle, we know we can figure out the other angles or the lengths of the sides of the triangle using special functions. And we learned the phrase Sakatoa to help us remember what these ratios are. Raise your hand if you remember what the S stands for. Yes, Jermaine. Sine. That's right, the S stands for sine. The C stands for the cosine. And Susan, do you remember what the T stands for? Tangent. That's right, the tangent. This is what we're going to be focused on today. So using this knowledge and thinking about Sakatoa to help us remember what those ratios are, we are going to solve a problem and figure out the height of a flagpole. Now, you wouldn't normally be able to climb a flagpole or have a tape measure in your pocket at all times to help you find the height of the flagpole, so you can use one of these functions to help you figure out what the height is without having to go climb it. During the next step, the teacher models several problems, asking questions throughout to check for understanding and to ensure student engagement. So, to start, I'm going to draw a picture to help me figure out what the problem's telling me. I have a flagpole, and I know 11 feet from the base of the flagpole is one. I'm gonna look back at my problem, and I notice that it says the angle of elevation from one's feet to the top of the flagpole, so here to here, is 70 degrees. So I'm going to label that on my diagram. And looking back at the problem, I've created a diagram that shows me everything the problem is telling me, but I noticed something else. I noticed that this flagpole and the ground make a 90 degree angle, which means this is a right triangle and we can use one of our ratios to help us figure out the height of the flagpole. And for this, I know I want to figure out the side opposite to this 70 degree angle. So looking back up there, I noticed that tangent is the ratio between the side opposite and the side adjacent to my target angle, so that's what I'm going to use. Sophie, remind me what the ratio for tangent is. Opposite over adjacent. That's right. The tangent is the ratio of the opposite side over the adjacent side. Great thinking, Sophie. Given this equation, I'm going to then fill in all the information I have from the problem. So what is my angle in this problem? Yes? 70 degrees. Great. It is 70 degrees. So the tangent of 70 degrees equals the opposite. I don't know what the opposite side is, so I'm just going to leave in the word opposite. over the adjacent side. I notice my side adjacent to the 70 degree angle is 11 feet, so I can write 11 right there. Now that my equation is written, all I have to do is solve. Equals 30.25. So I know the length of the side opposite to my target angle, which is also the height of the flagpole, is 30.25 feet. After the teacher leads the students through several more problems, she implements guided practice. Next, I'm going to have you work with a partner on the next two problems. Again, you're going to be solving for the tangent function, and I'm going to be walking around answering questions or providing help as needed. After the teacher has monitored guided practice and provided corrective feedback to each pair of students, she asks the students to complete problems independently. To ensure maintenance, the teacher plans opportunities for ongoing practice and provides additional instruction for students who have not mastered the concept or procedure. 